My first question is, are you going to clean back up my backyard? Yes. I started doing that. I just don't know. Can I take everything out? Yes. I'm throwing, on the way of throwing that away the pool. Yes, the pool could be thrown away. So what happened today on your trip? I went to Walmart and went and looked in the garden section. I saw a whole bunch of dead plants, about three baskets full. So I took the ones that had the mold and stuff on them to use the containers to make it easier to plant my um, cantaloupes, my corn, and transport, transport better. So once I do my second batch, this makes my process a whole bunch easier. Okay. But with the dead plants, I'll be using them for a compost bin. And right here, I have some red worms on $3. And these will come in, <clears throat> fertilize all your, um, everything you have in your compost bin. But make sure you're not putting any meat, any um, dairy, things of that such into your compost bin because they will cause a stench into it. So, yeah. And what you gonna do with this fishing pole? Uh, I'm going fishing. I'm gonna learn fishing. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> oh, look, let me show you. Oof. Do you see this? Derek said it's the, uh, I said, Derek, what is this outside growing? It's about there's some weeds. I said, nah, there can be no weeds because this um, is healthy and shiny. Yeah. Why them cucumbers coming back? Yeah, they come back year after year. That's one thing about them, so if you just throw them anywhere, they'll sell them into the ground on their own through the dirt and stuff. Well, but I don't thing. get how they came all the way up here. Probably when I dumped all the buckets out and used them. Well, on day. So, you guys, look at that. The unschooling life. Because they was having the, um, what do they call one of those things, a spin out when they get in the car? And they all meet up, a car meet up. Yeah. MLK last night. I saw that. They get the finest. The doctors were telling me all about it. It's like, yeah, they get the finest, get mad. They just say MLK is just a new build street. MLK is just a new build street, basically. They just move locations. Mm -hmm. Tell the officer when in Walmart. Mm -hmm. He told me all about the fishing and stuff. Okay. Pick out some baits. Okay. So he worked for Walmart or he was just in there? He was in there against the stuff. Oh, uh, he was in his uniform? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, all right. Memphis Police Department. Out here helping the youth, educating the youth. All police are not bad. Everybody does what they have to do in the community. And shout out to Walmart. And Travis, thank you at Walmart for helping so you guys, don't be afraid to ask for what you want or what you need. Mm -hmm. This probably went back about a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. These are three dollars each for the containers. So you just gonna go empty? Yeah, I'm putting this into a compost bin. What is this on top of here? Doggy, what? He gonna be, he gonna. Okay, what is that on top of it? I thought the plants are dead, dead. That's why I was like, I might as well get this free. I'm not paying even a dollar for these. I wonder what type of plant this was supposed to be. It was someone. So had this some um, um mold on them. Mm -hmm. I tried to get those, and I'm just cleaning all these out. So are you gonna go dump all this in your container you have mm -hmm. over there? All right, you guys, so we're going to show you the other container that she has over here. Um, hold on. All right, so this is the other side of our backyard. So where is your compost at? That's going to be it right there. So I this is it? to mix it around. See, I'm missing. And that's the orange and the potato. The season. Because at first, this is where I was going to have a flower garden bin, but I just ended up putting the um, compost in there because I didn't have a bin yet. But I think I might just go in there with the bin instead. So, what now do you need to. Um... I don't know if I put flowers in there. I got dirt left over. 
So you're going to put flowers inside of your compost? No, it's not going to be a compost anymore. It's oh, you mean that the dead stuff you just brought, the dead flowers? Yeah. You're going to put it in here to help fertilize it some more? Yeah, and I'm just put that into my other pot and let it Okay. So now you got like oranges and orange peels. So what? So what's really the main purpose for the compost? Well, compost, instead of buying all these bags of dirt, mind you, I spent about $10 per bag on dirt, and I've used about four to five. That's $50 in general. So if I could just end up having a source of soil on my own, and it's better overall, mind you, that soil over there, it already has fertilizer in it, so I didn't have to buy any fertilizer. And I'll be dumping it all into here and adding it to my newer plants on top of it, so that way it can promote healthier growth. Okay. And this gives it a lot more um, nutrients than the regular stuff. You see the banana can dry it up to eat. That's why I gotta make that um What thing is right this here. I'm stepping in? Mud. I told you it has to have that um crunch thing. So you see how it's coming down like this, it's a slant. So this is one of the other things I have to put my video That's why I wasn't sure about the concrete thing because underneath the water can go up underneath the concrete and mm -hmm. it's tilted. Or you can have cracks because we also have concrete on this side so you can't have cracks if you don't lay down a bar around but a french uh a french well it'll basically put it inside the ground it's gonna take all the water and have it just going directly on this side and dripping out you see how it already is it's basically just going with how the house is made and finding like the water because it gets so muddy over here and this isn't even a highly trafficked walking walking area but the flowers and stuff will do really good out there because you see that bees. Them some what? Some bees. Oh, I gotta get my head in there. So you gonna build the trench yourself or? Oh uh, yeah, you just gotta dig some dirt and then go get you a PVC pipe and a mesh wire with some filter and some rocks to uh, some gravel to put underneath and over the top. And all the water will flow down and you'll have less of these water see how everything over here is green. All that water is coming down this direction to slant. You see how all that is soft? Oh, well, it's, a, um, it's all straight going down. This right here is where they feel mainly planted. Mm-hmm. So when we start walking down and we drop. Mm-hmm. So all that water is just going to come over here. But that's a good thing because I do have these carboards underneath here that I do need to uh, decompose over time. And it'll make it a lot faster. Okay. Oh, you put your date on the side that you did at 327.23. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, so I got to mention about your hair. Because I see your little dreads dripping. Y'all know folks, they use a little word at little when they be hating. <laughs> How long you been drawing your locks? For well, about a good year now. A good year. A year, okay. About ready to start over. You guys, see it is. And how you gonna grow it back? Cause you know your sister said you can't use her stuff for free. <laughs> she said she. Okay. So you gonna cut them back off? I want a straight part. Cause I started these from free forms. So why you just don't undo those? That's too much time. I have a lot of locks. This I don't even know what I'm out. All right, y'all. She said she's gonna cut these off. But I gotta wait till they get long. Like, to about right here long. Because I'm gonna just reinstall them. Okay, so. Why don't you do a, um, a one-year journey with with your sister here food. Take them along with your journey. Yeah. So you get right there. See how long it's gonna take you and then. You cut them back off again. You guys, remind me, this is the same person who cut off 20 inches of hair. Yes. This is her. This is Anaya. So when you guys ask about your sister, with the hair food from the sister, <laughs> this is who it's named after. How long it's been working. Years. All right. So this is the compost life. 
This is Anaya's journey to her self-sufficient world that she's running. It's her self-sufficient journey that she plans to live off the grid in her adult life. Is that right? So I'm telling people right? Okay. So you'll get different clips of the journey. Well, I'm already said we're probably going into a recession. And then everything's about to get high. So, doing your own thing is the best route. Or knowing somebody that does. So. But chicken's coming soon. Most definitely. That's a, just like Maria said, the children are taking over our home. <laughs> They've been taken over, but now they're officially um, implementing their plans. All right. What you want to tell them so I can end this? Good day. How do you want them to follow you? Oh, I made an account for the year, so we ain't got that. Just follow my mom. That's good. Okay. All right, y'all heard it. She said, make sure y'all follow me, Coach J, on YouTube.